Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm a little bit late to this party. I did watch the whole um, live stream yesterday, but I wasn't really sure what I was going to record on. So, obviously, small channel. I'm not going to get my hands on an ROG Ally anytime soon. So, and I'm not going to go out and rush out and buy one either. So, the price has landed. It's going to be £699.99 in the UK. So, bang on £700 pretty much. Um, that's a pretty good price for what you're getting. You get a lot of power for your cash to the point where if you run this thing at full speed 30 watts you're going to get about one hour battery life which that's not very impressive but generally speaking the product is pretty impressive what's the competition you're asking yourself you're probably not asking yourself because everyone knows the competition is the steam deck we'll come back to that though so who's going to buy this handheld well i think Core gamers, people that are um, that have got a massive gaming rig, a massive RTX card, and all the RGB, they'll be lining up to buy the ROG Ally. And why wouldn't they? It's got RGB, it's got all the power, and it certainly jumps out and uh, kicks you in the face and lets you know that it's got all the power. And I think it's actually not a bad-looking device. I would happily use one of these, but it's definitely got a certain use case. The thing is massive. Now it's smaller than the Steam Deck, but that's not saying much because the Steam Deck is also massive. Now, this has got a much better screen, 1080p screen, that's kind of what you want, I suppose, even though most of the games you're going to run probably won't be running at 1080p. In fact, most of the video reviews I've seen online so far, most of the viewers are running at 720p and using upscaling to make it look nicer, which is fine, because if it's got a good enough screen that, and it's got enough processing power, then that's good. So it's currently May 2023, but come November, December time, I think there's going to be a massive run on buying the ROG Ally for children's Christmas. And at that price, you're going to need to be pretty well off. £700. I actually think price to performance that the Steam Deck is still a better buy. Especially if you're able to buy the lower one, if there's any in stock. Now I think the, the low end model, especially if you're buying for a child or a, or a teenager, is a brilliant option. Stick a one terabyte or a half terabyte micro SD card in, you've got loads of gaming on the go. Keep the 64 gig just for the operating system. At 349, that's hard to beat. You're looking at twice that price to get the ROG Ally. And the ROG Ally, performance watt per watt, doesn't really beat the Steam Deck until you get above 15 watts. And that's where the Steam Deck taps out anyway. So, like for like, 15 watts. You're going to be doing longer gaming sessions, you know, two two plus hours on both devices. But one you're paying £350 and the other paying you're paying £700. So I think, certainly if you're buying for probably a teenager, that the Steam Deck still makes more sense. If you're buying for a child, I don't think either of these devices make sense because they're just a little bit too big. So I've got youngish children and they, they have played on my Steam Deck and that is usually their comment. This thing is massive and it's heavy. Unfortunately, there's not many better options on the market in 2023. There is other options, but they're not cheaper. Unfortunately, in most cases, they kind of fit in between the price of the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally. So, there is options from INEO, who are shipping just now. But personally, for 2023, for the rest of 2023, in the absence of any new product arriving, which we we probably have heard about it by now, if there was going to be something else arriving. Your two options are the Steam Deck or the ROG Ally. I would go for the Steam Deck if you want affordable, decent battery life, and you're, you are planning on upgrading it yourself. For the ROG Ally, just go for the top spec one. The price is actually pretty good for the performance you're going to get. And um, enjoy the rest of 2023. Thanks for watching the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video.